Yeah, it is. Oh, who is this? This is Susan from the police headquarters. I have a man here who claims to know the whereabouts of a missing woman. He says he will only talk to you, though. Just wait until morning. I'm afraid not, sir. He says she won't last through the night. All right. I'll be there within the hour. Oh, and Susan, I need you to take a message for me. I call uh, the city hospital and leave a message for my wife, Betty Morgan. Tell her I'm going to be in work late again, and uh, I won't be here when she gets home. You got all that? Yes, Detective Morgan. I'll call them right away. Thanks. Rainy out there. Might have to turn the radio on. This is an emergency alert. Rainfall has exceeded three inches. Flash flood watch is now in effect. The file here says that you've drowned five women and that a sixth is missing and that you came in of your own regard. Is that true? Yes, it is. Now, where is she? In a well. And where is that? In the ground. I'm looking for more of an address. Do you like O'Flanagan's? I go there every once in a while to have this stew. The way they boil the potatoes is just amazing. If you haven't been, I recommend that you go. Oh, Flanagan's, huh? You spend a lot of your time there? That's not where the girl is, Detective Morgan. I just want someone to talk to before they put me away. You sure do have a funny way of carrying on a conversation. Uh, Henry. Now, if you help me find this girl, I promise I'll come and visit you every day in jail. We'd have more conversations. You're not going to visit me in jail. You don't know that. I have a hunch. Now what exactly do I have to do to get answers from you? What hoops do you want me to jump through? What tricks do you want me to do? To tell you the truth, Detective, you don't have to do any of that. I just want a conversation. You know, get to know each other. I feel like us becoming friends is in our best interest. I find that hard to believe. You should trust me, Detective Hank Morgan. Now let's start with that. How do you know my full name? I've heard it a few times before. And I thought to myself, I should really find out who this guy is that everyone's screaming about. Sounds like we don't have much time left. Now you're gonna help me find this girl. And I'll help you out. I'll make sure they take it easy on you. You can always count on the weather to ruin your day. You know yesterday they weren't predicting flash flooding until about noon. Hmm. I still do want my conversation though, Detective. You just need to ask the right questions sooner. What the give you like a train piece of trash? Threats are not a conversation. What's so great about two people sitting here chatting about nothing then? Nothing really. It's mainly about emotions. When people get sad, frustrated, or angry, or find out a loved one is in trouble. Emotions.
all about emotions. And conversations are the quickest way to bring out those emotions. And what happened to those other girls? They didn't show the right emotions? Oh, don't worry about those other girls. They're dead. But this one isn't. And how long is it going to stay that way, Henry? You wouldn't be sending me all the way across the city for a girl who's already drowned, would you? Simply put, she's just a five minute drive. Five minutes. Puts her within three factors in the old farm in Mayville. Let's see. This is an emergency alert. Rainfall has exceeded six inches. Flash flooding has occurred in all floodplains. Guess you better hope she wasn't a country girl. If you listen to me, the fun is over. Then you tell me what I want to know, or I'm going to personally see you dead. You just haven't asked the right question, Jed. Enough of the games! Get up! Now where is she? Well, I guess I should correct myself from earlier. Not everyone is screaming your name, just one. Well, I guess I should say she was screaming your name.